Hi, welcome to my craft room. Carol Gatton, your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I have already stamped the apothecary art and cut it out. This is the paper piercing template, and they come a set of three. The labels, the windows, and the ornament. Lots and lots of fun in that package. This is the paper piercing tool, and yours is not going to have the red tip. I've marked that with a Sharpie, so when I'm teaching classes, mine stands out. The paper piercing mat is dense in texture and really a good size to work with. So get your template lined up. That black line is going to go around that cut edge, and all of your little holes line up with your stamped image. This is so very, very easy to do. You just pierce as you go along. And the beauty of this is this controls the depth that you're pushing in your paper piercing tool so all of them are uniform in size. And I'm going to show you what this finished product looks like. And you do not have to do anything if you choose except to do the paper piercing. You don't have to do the faux stitch, but I'm going to show you that as well. So now we've cut out from designer paper, and we're going to once again do the paper piercing on that. You don't have to stamp an image to do paper piercing. So now we have this piece of designer paper, and we're simply lining our black line up with the cut edge, and we're working our way around the inside of that. You can see the ease of creating this beautiful stitched effect. This just takes minutes to do, and it is something that is really worth your while because the finished effect is very dramatic and truly adds to the value of your card. I like to do little special things like this to increase the beauty of my card. And this is pretty all by itself, but this is our white gel pen, and I am simply going from paper piercing to paper piercing. It's just that easy. And this just glides along. It's so easy. And it really stands out. I want you to see just how pretty that looks. Nice effect. Okay, this is the Wild Wasabi marker, and I'm going to use the fine tip here. And you can notice that I'm going back and forth, back and forth. And part of the reason for that is I have stamped this with the black stays on. And so that's a really strong color. And so it, it takes this going back and forth for this color to dominate over that black. But it's really worth the few minutes that you spend in doing this because it looks so very, very pretty at the end. So continue to work your way around doesn't take that long and I find it to be very relaxing myself. Okay, we're almost to the end of this. And then I put mounting tape on the back of this. This is watercolor paper and then I mount it on to my designer paper. And didn't that turn out lovely? I thank you and I hope you'll try this technique and until next time, thank you so very much.